In this video, let us look into an important property based on the internal bisector of an angle of a triangle. So, what the property says is, so what the property says is here, the internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. It does make sense, this statement, but if it hasn't, well, let me try to explain the same statement with the help of an illustration. Say we've got a triangle, and let's name it a b and c and let's say this is an internal angle angle a is an internal angle right now it talks about the internal bisector of an angle let's take off an angle right this angle is angle a and the internal bisector of this angle is let's say let's say it is this line this is the line that bisects that that is ad bisects angle a of a triangle right now what this line does is what this bisector does is it divides the opposite side the opposite side is nothing but bc the line ad divides or bisects angle a so naturally the opposite side is going to be bc now it divides the side bc internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle so what are the sides that contain this angle it is ab and ac let me write it here it divides bc in the ratio of the sides or in the ratio of the sides containing the angle so the sides containing the angles the angle a is nothing but a, a b and ac what we can conclude from this statement is that a b by ac that is the ratio of the sides containing angle a is going to be equal to b d by dc because that's what it says it's going to divide this line bc right in the ratio of the sides containing this angle so ab by ac is going to be equal to bd by dc that is what this property is all about this is of course one of the most important properties as far as the basic proportionality is concerned or in fact as long as triangles is concerned for us to solve any kind of triangles or to prove something these results are going to help us in a long way you know if you remember these results we can reduce a lot of steps in solving a problem so uh, try to get familiar with this or even try to remember this. So let me read the statement and explain it in a brief way once more before we go to the next video. Now the internal bisector of an angle, the angle that we are talking about is angle A and the internal bisector is AD. Now that is going to divide the opposite side. The opposite side is BC. It is going to divide the side BC internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. The sides containing the angle is AB and AC. So whatever the ratio these sides are forming you know ab by ac that is what that's how that's the ratio in which bc is going to get divided as bd by dc that's what this statement says i'll see you in the forthcoming video based on the same property but in a converse way that's all